The starting lineup for the visiting Oklahoma City Thunder. At small four, Lugans Dorsey. Western Conference quarterfinals. And the question on everyone's mind tonight, will this be a clean sweep? And our broadcast team tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Allie LaForce, our reporter. shifted more to being offensive oriented. This matchup has a bit of an old school feel to it. So you know I like that. It's going to be fun. Now here's Dort. That one is off. Some solid defense from Ingram. Post Valentunas. Holmgren with the block. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Clock at six. Jones against Giddy. Steps back and fires. Jones misses. And it's Dort with the ball for Oklahoma City. Pass to Williams. Now Gilgis Alexander. About a minute into this first quarter. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. This and that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. McCullough. And McCullough slams it in. Beautiful pass by Jones, keeping his head on a swivel and creating the wide open look. Smitty, what impresses you about C.J. McCullough's game as a ball handler? Yeah, well, he's a terrific passer and also a consistent scoring option. I'm impressed with how he balances those two aspects of his job. The Pelicans have gone one for three so far. Ingram finds McCullum. Back to Ingram. To the right side. Here's Valanciunas. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Valanciunas drops them both. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. Yeah, it's just too easy for Hunger. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Pass to Valanciunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Holmgren with the block! And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Jones against Giddy. Shot clock at five. 
Jones, his shot is good. I like when Herb Jones plays with an edge, accepting the contact and finishing through it. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. The shot, no good. Good D by Williamson. McCullum, pass to Ingram. Over Dort. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Oklahoma City trailing. Outside Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Smitty, the injury bug has really played havoc to the Pelicans in the past. They have, B.A., and a lot of people have wondered what their past couple of seasons would have looked like if they've been able to stay at full strength. But all you can do is look ahead and hope for the best. good from Gilgis Alexander. The skills of SGA, they're so unique. His ball handling, shooting, length. Not a lot of guys like Shea in the league. No free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant year. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Now here's Ingram. Still no points. Giddy with a defensive effort. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Pass to Dort. Holmgren, high post. Smitty, lots of expectations for this team if Zion can stay healthy. Yeah, B.A., last year they were in the play -in. But if they can stay healthy, they'll be a sleeper team to contend with. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And what you immediately notice about Chet Holmgren is his uniqueness. He's got size, but also tremendous agility. He can hit outside shots or battle down low. And the Pelicans making a change here. Daniels has checked in. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. Alan Chunas with a screen on Giddy. Ingram with the ball. Now guarded by Holmgren. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. For the Thunder, Williams has checked in for Holmgren. Gordon Hayward comes in for Dort. And Joe subbed in for Giddy. Williamson against Williams. Hayward outside. Williams with the screen. 11 feet out. Hayward's shot is off. For New Orleans, they've gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Pass to Valentunas. Now Ingram. Back to Valentunas. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Williams. Inside. Williams' shot is good. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. to Williamson. Now here's Valanchunas from outside the arc. Nails it from three. Valanchunas has got five now. Valanchunas had his hands up and ready on that catch and shoot. He wanted it. Outside, Williams. To the paint. Out to Hayward. Here's Williams. 
Driving to the basket. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Great job keeping his eyes up the floor. Zion's teammate making it easy and getting wide open. 29 seconds left in the first. Hayward outside. Williams with the screen. Three pointer. Oh, the Thunder, another three. three Entering the league, this is where Hayward had to improve. And he has. Tremendous touch now from range. Here's Daniels. Takes a three. Can't get it to drop. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Thunder, up three. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And we welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Well, we normally don't pick favorites, but come on. Do you have a player you like watching the most, Grant? All right, B.A., you're going to get me in trouble, but I do love Ja Morant. I mean, he flies, he plays so fearless, and he also gets his teammates involved. Ja is really fun to watch. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. It's a three-point game. Hayward finds Gilgis Alexander. Back to Hayward. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Marshall. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. They grab their own miss. And that one's good. Zeller. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Strong take from Gilgis Alexander. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Slim frame, but has the length to finish over or around you. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Pass to Marshall. Now here's McCollum. And another basket for New Orleans. I love it. No hesitation from C.J. McCollum on that shot. Hayward outside. Tries a 10-footer. Here's Wallace. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. Wallace has got his first basket. That's outstanding decision-making there to change his shot and find an open teammate for an easy basket. Pass to Marshall. Here's Hawkins. Still without a bucket. Five on the clock. Here's McCollum. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Now Gilchis Alexander. Wallace's wow. shot is good. And now it's a five-point Thunder lead. You can't give him any daylight or he will do just that. A late second-round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing. And everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capable. 
Here's Gilgis Alexander. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. SGA doing his thing. He is long for a guard. 6'6". Six, six. SGA is tough to handle down low. New Orleans calls timeout. Pelicans have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Ingram deciding where to go with it. On the wing, Jones. Williamson outside. Ingram with a screen on Holmgren. Five to shoot. Here's Williamson. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Terrific concentration and body control. Zion showing why he was chosen number one overall. And the Pelicans making a change here. Daniels is checked in. For your Pelicans, Zion Williamson. One shot. The free throw off from Williamson. And when you talk about players that have struggled to remain healthy, Larry Nance Jr. comes to mind. You know, I know Granny wants to get out of that conversation. He knows and we know how valuable a contributor he is when he's at full strength. Yeah, he came flying in right there. Gilgis Alexander on cleanup duty. Pass to Nance. To the left side wing. Fades away. That one rolls around and rims out. And I don't understand. Why is he going to the fadeaway? Just go straight up with it. Up top, Giddy. No points yet. Holmgren. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Now it's a seven-point Oklahoma City lead. And there's nowhere on the floor where Holmgren can't do damage. He's put a ton of pressure on the D with his jump shot. Williamson, no good. The Thunder have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Giddy. Pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Fires the three. Gilgis Alexander in your face. It's not a quick shot release. But it's high and smooth. Shea with the defender in his face. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. They need this. And there's a nice layup by Williamson. Williamson's got four points in the quarter. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor.
changes for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Nance, and it's McCollum in for Daniels. One fourteen left to play in the half. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Here's Wallace. Pass to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. Here he goes. Yep, that one's good. And I respect the strategy. Despite the sizable lead, you gotta stay in attack mode. You wanna stay aggressive, right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. Well, I've also really loved watching them connect from the in-between area. I mean, they're finding ways to do damage consistently from there. That free throw good from Giddy. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. He's a big man who plays to his strengths. Valanchunas offers a lot of grit and toughness. Free throw drops from Alan Tunis. And Alan Tunis drops them both. Thunder with a lead. Wiggins outside. Giddy passes to Williams. Here's Joe, defended by Jones. Pass to Dort. Shot clock at six. Giddy passes to Dort. Williams from long range. Pelicans cleared away. Alan Junis has got four rebounds now. Now here's Ingram. McCullum outside. And the ball out of play. The Thunder will have it. Into the lineup for the Thunder. Number 22, Casey Wallace. One second left. Can't hit that one. A pretty gifted defender. Herb Jones knows how to put the clamps on you. And so that brings the first half to a close. Thunder out in front, up nine. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Offense is clicking right now. They're moving it well. Stick with it. The defense can't hang. Well, we'll see if they can keep it up and build out this lead even further. Looking at the scenario for the New Orleans Pelicans, they're 0 for 3 in the series. Kenny, what should they do to stave off elimination? They got to take a long look in the mirror and figure out which vacation spot oh! they're going. <laughs> in other words, they're toast, Ernie. Listen, I don't need to break out the crystal ball to tell you how this ends. They have to white flag up, and the season is on the clock. A lot of metaphors there, but I, I get the gist. Uh, speaking of toast, what do you prefer on toast, Kenny? Uh, jam, no butter. Shaq? Jam, jelly. What's the difference between jam and jelly, Shaq? Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson.
to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. You have to like what we're seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. And so McCullough will bring it up for New Orleans. They trail by nine. Williamson outside. Let's it go from deep. The Thunder with the rebound. Outside Kitty. Pass to Williams. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Kitty with a screen on McCullough. Gilgis Alexander with a ball. McCullough covering. The defense gives Shea all their attention, and that leaves another guy open and ready to score. Well, the Pelicans shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. McCollum finds Valanchunas. Now Williamson. Outside Jones. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Oklahoma City has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, guarded closely. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 now. Despite his slim frame, Shea Gilgis Alexander is showing enough strength to take the hit and complete the play. Here's Valanciunas, rejected by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Dort, Pelicans cleared away. Valanciunas has got rebound number five here tonight. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Back to McCullum. Ooh, good finish at the rack on the slick feed. Six points for him. Look at the big man Valanchuna showing off the playmaking skills. Outside Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. That three's off the mark. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Williamson passes to McCollum. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Read the eyes of the ball handler, and Gilgis Alexander able to get a hand up in time. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Six on the shot clock. Back to McCullum. From behind the arc. Pure from three-point range. You have to get out there on C.J. McCullum. He is very good at torching defenses from deep. If you look at Ingram, it seems like he only gets better with age than Yeah, you're so right. There's a case to be made that since he won the most improved player award in 2020, he's only continued to improve. This game gets more well-rounded every season. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, that was clearly a foul. Two shots. The first one falls. Hayward, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Both free throws good from Giddy. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. For NBA players, off the court physical training has become paramount. Celtics big man Al Horford told me the day-to-day -day grind has changed 
game before it was just basketball. Now these other routines are being incorporated and it's really changing the game. And Bryant's not just the veterans, even the young players are seeing the benefits as well. Yeah, they really are. You gotta do it. Thanks, Alec. Now here's Ingram. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Outside Jones. Three-pointer. And it's Kitty with a rebound. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Williams in the post. Valanciunas on him. Williams finds Kitty. Clock at six. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Strong finish by Gilgis Alexander. This team leans on Shea to help shoulder the offense. And he takes this responsibility seriously. And the Pelicans call time here. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for New Orleans. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Valanciunas. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Giddy. And the Thunder making a change here. Into the floor for the Thunder. Williams. Wallace. Ingram finds Williamson. There's McCullum with the three. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. McCullum's got 12. I like how aggressive CJ is on offense. He is taking the shot he wants. Hayward outside. There's a screen. 13 feet out. And he connects with a jumper. Five points in the game. Working over that in-between area. Gordon Hayward with the size and skills to get it done. Pass to McCullum. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's Wallace. Back to Williams. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third. There's five on the clock. Here's Wallace. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Giddy against Ingram. Valanchunas sets a screen. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Valanchunas getting rewarded there for putting down a solid screen on the pick and roll. Giddy against Ingram. Shot from 12. Here's Wallace. Off target from three-point range. Giddy against Ingram. McCullum outside. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got three assists tonight. 
Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator who has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. It's the Thunder. They lead by a bucket. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Daniels. Pass to Zeller. Now here's Ingram, guarded by Hayward. Outside Jones. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. And Zeller with a basket. All the assist from Jones. And that'll tie this game up. After being behind for so long, they must be relieved to finally get this thing tied up. Definitely. But this is the time when you want the momentum. Late is when you want to impose your will. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Deep Hayward. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Well, New Orleans shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Ingram, the pass to Daniels. Back to Ingram. Up and in on the layup. And the Pelicans lead by two. Brandon Ingram doesn't hold back. You can't scare him off with contact. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Biombo. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. To the middle. And Biombo with the block. Hayward against Ingram. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Wallace. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. New Orleans calls timeout. Here they are. Let's give it up, fans. It's your Pelican Breaker. some changes here and let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey guys, well Willie Green had some advice for the team over that last break. 
He really emphasized rim protection. He said to his guys, I want us to cut down on the easy looks inside. No more of that. It's a simple ask that could have a big impact. Thank you for that, Allie. Thunder on D. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Out to McCullum. Out of bounds. It'll be Oklahoma City's ball. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. The Thunder have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander, no good. The Pelicans trail. Outside Ingram. Outside Jones. Ingram with a screen on Giddy. Pass to Williamson. Valanchunas with it. He's covered by Holmgren. Shot clock at six. Valanchuna sets a screen. Jones from outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. Big shot by Herb Jones in a big moment. Jones has gone one of three from distance. Holmgren with a screen on Jones. And now Gilgis Alexander. And uses the glass to finish the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 19 points. When they need a score, Shea is willing to put the offense on his shoulders. McCullough, pass to Jones. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 1.57 left to play in the fourth. Here's McCullum. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. Gord finds Gilgis Alexander. three-point game. You see why he's one of the guys they want at the line in these situations. Ingram against Dort. Alan Tunis with a screen on Dort. Alan Tunis can't get it to go. The Thunder have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Holbrook with a screen on McCullough. Gilgis Alexander into the lane. Ooh, an aggressive <laughs> slash from SGA. Incredible play by Shea Gilgis Alexander. This kid is not afraid of the moment. Ingram with the ball. And it's Dort picking him up. Dort against Ingram. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Chad Holmgren. Each year, Brandon becomes a little more assertive at the offensive end, and we know he has the talent. He gets the first, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Both free throws good from Ingram. Hey, a steady hand at the line in a tough situation. He narrows it to a one-possession game. Gilgis Alexander looking it over. 
Holbrook with a screen on McCullough. Down low. Tries again. And it's Holmgren missing. This might be a turning point. Massive possession here. Jones. Williams grabs the board. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Holbrook with a screen on McCullough. Gilgis Alexander from outside. The shot won't fall. New Orleans calls timeout. They're trailing by three. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? So hard to get a clean look from distance in this situation because everybody knows that's the shot they need. So the defense is smothering the perimeter with everyone they have. right here and they're looking to tie it up live to play another period we'll see what they run right here and with that win they'll be moving on to round two and they delivered an epic performance sweeping this best of seven series that's what you want to do get out of the first round as quickly as possible now the road gets a little harder and that about wraps it up from here folks we hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the nba's western conference quarterfinals for Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.